Shalom WJC family. It's time for our weekly Torah talk. This week in synagogue, we will be reading Parshat Ekev, uh, now getting on in the book of Devarim. And what I want to comment on today is the difference between consequences and punishments. Now, some of you may know I studied child development and child care when I was an undergraduate. It was a social work degree. And part of what I did was intern in a preschool that was in a synagogue. And at that time, it was very trendy never to talk to, to students, to kids, to toddlers and children about punishments. We would tell them there would be consequences. If you do that, there'll be consequences. Now, what this did was obviously blurred the meaning of consequences and punishment. Punishment is something that's done to you when you're bad. Consequences are sort of an ine- the inevitable result of your actions, right? The sequence of things that are going to happen if you do such and such a thing. Confusing consequences and punishments can be very dangerous, particularly when it comes to Torah and our relationship with God and our understanding of how God interacts with us in the world, how we should interact with Torah. All right, with that introduction, let's look at Akev. Akev is a funny word. Akev means heal. You may remember actually Yaakov. Uh, Jacob is named that because he was uh, holding on to Esau's heel when they were born. So Akev means heal. So this phrase that begins Parshat Akev, the Haya. Akev tishmeun et mishpatim ha'ela. So, uh, behold, the heel of if you listen and obey to the rules uh, that I am going to tell you and keep them. So, what does heel mean there? So, Rashi, the uh, uh, medieval commentator, explains that heel means with the heel. Usually it's it's meant, we assume, you know, on the heels of, right? So on the heels of you listening um, or obeying these commandments, what's going to happen? God will favor you and bless you. V'ahevcha uverachacha, God will love you and bless you. V'hirbecha uverach pribitnecha, and multiply you and bless your children, the fruit of your wombs. Uh, upri admatecha, and the fruit of your fields, the gancha, your grains, and, and so on and so forth, right? So all this great stuff is going to be um, akev, on the heels of you following these commandments. Now that is often translated, and I would say mistranslated, as this will be your reward for uh, keeping these mitzvot. Reward and punishment go together. Akev, though, doesn't necessarily mean reward and punishment. It means on the heels of this will happen consequentially. And the mixing of reward and punishment is very dangerous. Because if we say, keep these commandments and you'll get a reward, break them and you will get a punishment, I don't know how much we really believe that. It may be spiritually so, but we know that lots of people do all the mitzvot and they don't seem to get rewards, right? They're not not what we would call just rewards anyway. And lots of people, uh, you know, break all the mitzvot, never pay any attention to them, and they don't get what we would consider punishments. So if God is telling us in the Torah that doing the mitzvot will get a reward or a punishment and tells us what those rewards are, you'll have lots of children, your land will be very fertile, all those kinds of things, that strains belief when we look at the world around us and whether or not justice in this sense really exists. However, akev, meaning on the heels of, it will happen consequentially that if you keep these mitzvot, what will happen is you will have lots of kids, you will multiply, and your kids will be blessed, and your land will be blessed, and you'll have uh, a lot of good fortune, maybe that's not saying this as a reward and punishment, but as a natural consequence of following the wisdom of the Torah. So what does it mean to have lots of children? Maybe you'll have a lot of your own children. Maybe you'll live in a community where its children are raised up and successful, right? If you, There are laws about how we treat our land. Perhaps if we treat our land properly, it will be more fertile for us, right? Not to be read 
as reward and punishment, but that is to be read as good advice and the consequences of following this good advice. To come back to Rashi, he says, Akev means with the heel. So uh, Harav Moshe Swift had some comments on this. He said what it meant is that ch- children will follow on the heel of their parents. Right, so do these things because if you do them, Akev, your children will do them. And that's why they'll be blessed. Right, Live a good life, be a good person, and your children are more likely to live a good life and be good people. Right, Not as a reward to you, but because they're going to learn the way to live from you. We, because of the way our society interprets things, because of the prominent religions around us, we tend to look at the Torah as reward and punishment. And when we do, it strains belief, and maybe we lose interest. Maybe we don't quite, uh, we dismiss it because we understand the world, the world does not work with the perfect justice we wish it did. Perhaps by reading it instead as a book of advice, whose guidance and wisdom will lead us to have closer families, to have um, be satisfied with what we have, to understand how better to treat the world so that the world can take care of us, how better to treat each other so that we can take care of each other, that all of these blessings come true when we base our values and our actions on the Torah because it's good stuff, it's good wisdom, it's good advice. So I hope we can approach our religion not with this um, sort of simpler idea of, of if you're good, God rewards you. If you're bad, God punishes you. But more with the idea that, you know, if you follow the wisdom that God gifted us in the Torah, that your life will feel better. You will feel blessed. And so, too, when we don't, we feel worse. We feel farther from God. We have less holiness in our life. It's harder to sense the beauty around us. The Torah is a gift, a gift that gives us a beautiful guide for life whose consequences are blessings of all kinds. May we all heed this great advice and find the blessings that are the consequence of following the the mitzvot. Shabbat Shalom.